A good idea? Yeah, it's a fantastic idea. It's great for gender parity. It has the ability to have men take responsibility for their own outcomes, right, et cetera. Mm -hmm. you know, take some of the burden off women if they choose to. There's a but coming, isn't there? There is a but, right, you know. And then the question legitimately is, this is a twice a day product. Our men can adhere to it to the same rates that women do, and we will only know that once it's been trialed. Okay, can I just point out, presumably twice a day men clean their teeth? Presumably. Yes. Not all of them, though. That's the problem. Yes. It, really, it really depends on how motivated are you to take this pill, right? And there's a class of men who are highly motivated to take this pill. Right. Those who are cheating, those who are having affairs, they will be highly motivated the to take this pill. The ones who absolutely do not absolutely want to procreate, Absolutely do not right? want to procreate, absolutely do not want to be caught. There's a product there. There are a lot of blokes out there who don't care. Uh, we know this from all the unwanted pregnancies that happen. Who I would imagine, if they were told, well, you've got to wear this gel, they're just not going to bother, are they? But there's also women who are often looking to get pregnant. And therefore, this gives both parties control of that. Now, think about this. Now you have the male and the female in a casual hookup situation in, let's say, a university setting. Now they both can be sure, or relatively sure, that they are not going to get pregnant. Wow. Well, there's a lot to unpack here. Uh, Richard, is it something that you think that men would want to use because it means that they know that the woman that they're sharing a bed with won't get pregnant? Or do you think that they wouldn't care? There are some, too many cases where they wouldn't be bothered. Well, I think in, in theory, I think it's a wonderful idea. And I think you could make it compulsory for everyone under 30. Imagine <laughs> if all men under 30 had to take In fact, why? Why stop at 30? You, you would have, um, think of all these guys who are going to have a baby and they're thinking, oh, great, I'm going to be a father just in time for my GCSEs. You know, all that would be avoided. <laughs> um, I'm sincerely, yeah, I'm not why, thinking that. Why, why stop at 30? Have it compulsory for all men. And then when you want to stop taking it, you have to write a letter to the relevant authorities telling them, right, I'm ready. <laughs> OK, this sounds like 1984. Yeah. <laughs> it's eugenics, friendly eugenics, so people get to kind of... But here's the problem. Here's the problem. This all, this all sounds great, in, but in reality, we know that men, there's a reason, and it's a, it's, it's a gender and it's specific, that there's a reason most women, not that they should do most of the housework, they're better at it because their brains are better for okay. stuff, right? Can I just put that in a different <laughs> way? Can I put it in a different way? Which Thank is, you, this Professor is not. This no, is, this so is here, not let me finish well, my no, thesis. No, no. Yeah, we, we've my, heard your thesis. So here's my thesis. They're better, women are better organised, and I know they're all going to get offended because I'm praising and complimenting them. Uh, women are better organised. I think they remember stuff better than men. I think men are more forgetful. I think men are more self-interested and don't bother trying to remember stuff that doesn't really bother okay, them. OK, well, let me put it another way. That's the problem. Women are the ones who have the babies. Yes. So, if you don't trust the man you're sleeping with, the consequences are greater for you as a woman exactly. and you, can than you, they are for the And can man. you imagine the conversation between a man and a woman? The woman asks the man, what should they take precautions? And he's, he's like, don't worry, I've got it. I've got this gel. Yeah. I dab it on my shoulders okay. well, if most you're in, days. If you're in a relationship where having a baby is not something you're planning at that particular point, I think you are perfectly entitled to trust the man who also has an, you know, a... a, a he has the result having a baby also has consequences for him the trouble is if you've just met somebody and the consequences Absolutely. are totally specific to you and the man you might not see again then you're probably going to find it harder to oh, trust the other key, point, the other key point is does this gel work i mean does it have the same record of success do we believe as the contraceptive pill or a condom because if it doesn't then actually there's a more inherent risk of trusting a man anyway. So does it work? Yeah. Well, in the world of contraceptive, nothing works 100%. Right. Not even vasectomy works 100%. Mm. And then you have two issues. One is the biological effectiveness of the product, and the second is the adherence problem. The adherence problem is huge in all sorts of medicines. Mm -hmm. This is also the case with women and the pill. Mm -hmm. It's not like women are perfect angels when it comes to taking their daily are pill. Are men or women statistically better at remembering to take medication? I it don't. I, I don't know of any research on that, so I can't speak. I bet to that. women are better but, at remembering them. But what I can I say are. is, don't trust your partner if you're not willing to have a child, yeah. and if you have the ability to protect yourself, use the condom for now. Use the gel if you'd like to. I'm just going to answer your question about effectiveness. Yeah. I think that I, I I am absolutely paraphrasing the numbers here, uh, and I may not have the specific wording correct, but. 11% failure rate, I think, in the case of the gel, 9% failure rate uh, in the case of the contraception. That's, yeah, that's, that's over a year. So that's not per incident. 
Right. right? It's not yeah. you have, you know, taking your exactly. over a year. Of taking sex. your argument, I get that point, which is if you're both actually taking responsibility, yes, the man and woman, then the chances of a pregnancy are massively reduced Absolutely. from where they would be if only one of you was anyway. Absolutely. So you're basically yes. making a safer environment to not have a pregnancy. Absolutely. Right? So, so basically yes. saying that the male contraceptive pill works as gel. long as... The, gel. Sorry, yeah. as long as the woman also well, it's, uses it's contraceptive. A, well, I don't so think you're I, just using as many I things say as that, you can. Well, I, I, do, I actually do believe women are better disciplined at taking this kind of thing the men. I just do. Well, there are also women who suffer serious consequences from the pill. Yeah. And so they can make relief. sure that their husband takes right. the pill or Absolutely. takes the gel twice a day. Can I just also that. say, it, there is, surely there is a huge incentive for men to use this. Indeed, yes. Well, if you don't They're want a child, prepared. yeah.